for him. You got a problem, Miss I Love Everything Natural? No, it uh, smells very healthy. There he is, over there. That's Matt Duncan, a good father, a fine husband, and a hard worker. A really nice man. And he wants nothing more than the best for his son. What's so unnatural about that? Well, he may think he has all the happiness in the world, but a little bit of hate can attract enough evil to destroy him and everybody else he loves. Evil? Don't you feel it? There's something terribly wrong. What's wrong with this picture? You mean, apart from the fact that Mr. Duncan doesn't look much like a cowboy? He's not. He runs this place. Last week he had a rock concert. Next week he's gonna have a computer convention. But this week, he brought in a rodeo. With a truckload of evil along with it. Yes, that's my friend. That's Kathleen. She's not your friend anymore. But... And no buts, Miss Wings. She's gonna walk all over you. I think not. I love it when you cop a attitude. When you walk down the road, heavy burden, heavy load, I will rise and I will walk with you. I'll walk with you till the sun. With you. I'd heard the rumors about her. I just couldn't believe it. Believe it. We were on search and rescue together. Floods, fires, travelers in peril. She taught me everything I know about safe landings. She was the best. How could she do this? She is not the first to choose darkness instead of light. And she sure won't be the last. But she has made her choice. And she is not your friend anymore. You remember that. Better separate this one, Daddy. Don't put him in with the other. Dad, I'm gonna go watch him bring the bulls in. Not without me, you're not. This shouldn't take that long. Sandy, this is Kathleen... Luna. Kathleen Luna. She said she booked a space in the Midway? Could it be under anything else? Fortune tellers? I heard fortune tellers are just faking. Daniel. That's okay. The truth is, some are. But I am very real. I know exactly what's going to happen, sooner or later. What's going to happen to me? Let me see. Oh. You're standing in front of something very, very big. Very scary. But you're Daniel the Brave, very courageous, and you destroy it. What is it? Something that moves in the night, in the shadows. Oh, that. My dad fixed that years ago. He put a nightlight by my bed. I don't even need it anymore. It's for babies. Maybe you should practice a little more. Listen, I can't seem to find it anywhere. Do you have a confirmation number? <laughs> it flew out my window coming through Texas. Texas. You came that far. Father. Hello? Well, I'm sorry. Um, I would love to help you, but we are completely booked. Oh, really? Matt, excuse me, but it looks like there's a space open after all. Jim Harper, the t-shirt guy, someone ran him right off the interstate this morning. His wife says he's in pretty bad shape. Oh. Well, the uh, Harper's head, booth number one, prime location, top of the midway. You can have that if you'd like. Great, thank you. I'm sorry you had to go down like this, but 
Well, I'll move in, and maybe you can come by later for the check. And Daniel, here's some real fortune telling for you. Look behind the soda machine. There's a ten dollar bill. I guess it's true. Truth I'm finding out is relative. <sighs> or you just make it look that way. Well, I would love to stay and pursue this theory, but I just can't. Why don't you stop by later, booth number one? We can have tea, catch up. Angel to angel. You're not an angel anymore. You know what you are. There's a cold spell moving in. Just let it go. Good shot. Two more just like that and you'll win. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I'm Monica. Yes? The veterinarian. You know, from the insurance company. That's right. I got a call you'd be coming. I didn't know they required a vet on the premises, but then again, I've never promoted a rodeo before. Why now? I'm not sure. It's not my thing, really, but business is business. Uh, is this your son? Yes, this is Daniel. Daniel, you shot real good. You're gonna win. Hello, Daniel. You going to the rodeo? No, oh, my dad hates the rodeo. Well, my mom's from Florida on some business thing, so... Oh, well, don't you have a brother you could go with? No. We're the last of the Duncans. Just Dad and me. Well, no, we can't have the great Duncan heir missing the rodeo. Thanks, no. Really. Listen, Daniel, why don't you go back to the office and wait for your mom? She said she'd call around four. Our time or her time? Daniel, go on. Tell your mother that I miss her and did she get my flowers? Okay? Attention, okay. Rodeo okay. fans. We have a late announcement that does not appear in your registration. I'm oh, sorry, Jerry. it's just that he seems so interested in all this. Six time best Better off without it. Champion, the original eight second hero, Ty Duncan. Another Duncan in the world. Duncan Anyone ride. you know? Yeah. Yes, that's so. At the closing ceremonies on Saturday night. You won't want to miss it. He's not much to look at. The years haven't been kind at all. From Cheyenne to Denver to Dallas, he's rode in them all. Now he's on his way down to Tulsa. Put on the show And he'll ride the meanest bull there He's an eight-second hero He's an eight-second hero They come to their feet when he rides And he never does mention the pain it's a matter of pride But he's getting older He feels it each time he rides And the safe second he rolling on Sunday the bull's going to win These pens are much too small this poor fella right here, he can't see what's going on. He feels left out. You see, this could cause you serious problems down the line. There is no down the line. These cows are being auctioned tomorrow for product. Oh, dear. Hey, man. What can I do for you? Well, how about... Hello, Papa, how you doing? Is this your dad? No. It's just my father. Look, son, don't call me that. I didn't come here to fight with you, man. Whatever you came here to do, it's too late. I came here to ask you to give me a chance to make things up to you. 
Whatever's happened in the past, we're still family. No, we're not. The only thing you know about family is how to wreck it. You've got a right to be mad. I don't blame you. It's all hate. Hate is like water in a dry riverbed. The longer it runs, the deeper it digs in. You can save your two-bit philosophy for the cow points. And don't call me son. You've probably got one in every hick town in this country. So this is it. This is why you're here. That old man's ticker's gonna give out any day now. Wouldn't it be a shame if somebody keeps them apart until they just run out of time? Too late. Too bad. Bye, Dad. <laughs> think of the possibilities. You better think about me getting in your way every step you take. Because that's not a possibility. That's a fact. Listen, I, uh, I'm sorry that you had to hear all that before with my father. How long has it been since you've seen him? Fifteen years. It's a good thing my wife isn't here. She would be after me to... Patch things up? Yeah. Well, it's always good not to put things off. <laughs> Look, there's nothing to patch up. I spent my childhood watching my mother polishing trophies and trying to make a few bucks in prize money last in between rodeos. I learned to grow up reading postcards that were always promising that this would be his last year on the circuit. My mom and I always took a distant second to the bulls, the booze, the women, and the lies. Huh. I'm not even sure why I said yes to this. Everything in my gut told me to pass in the rodeo, you know, take a loss, pray that the next rock concert would make up the difference, but I don't know, something made me say yes. You know, it was very hard for him to come here and face you. He knew that you would be angry. But he wants to connect with his family before it's too late. And he wants to be a grandfather. Listen, I appreciate you letting me blow off steam like this, but this is my problem. And I don't want Daniel involved in this. I don't want him to know that his grandfather is here. As a matter of fact, I don't want him to know he even has a grandfather. But that's lying to your son. No, I'm saving my son. All right, I won't tell him, I promise. But I'm not going to lie to him either. One question though, if your father lied to you and you're lying to your son, when does it stop? I don't know. You got a point. Mr. Duncan, I have that check for you. But I, I thought we could uh, take a look at the conditions in the horse trailers. Uh, that's your department. If anything's not up to code, just let me know. Well, I like this new Monica. Tough, aggressive angel with an attitude.